What is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video preview today we're going to take a look at rocky from star ace and you can pre-order this figure at bigbadtoystore.com i'll put the link down below so it's from star ace and <laughs> i know throughout the years especially with this the boys the track record hasn't been you know stellar so to speak they announced um starlight which I haven't done anything yet. Uh, I've yet to see their two Star A's. I mean, their two The Boys product, uh, which is Homelander and um, uh, Butcher, which is apparently got butched, <laughs> got, got butchered. But uh, I, this one right here, okay, I'm going to judge it as a prototype because that's what we do see. So far, it looks good. I mean, I, I you know, I'm no complaints on the face. Uh, so there's two versions. They got the deluxe version and the non-deluxe. So basically, the deluxe, I believe, comes with that the dog. I forgot the dog's name, really. Uh, but I personally love Rocky. Where well, I'm a, you know, I was born in the '80s, so I'm I'm a bit um, biased to that action hero. You know, that Stallones and the Schwarzeneggers and you know all those you know action heroes in the 80s so the steven seagal steven seagal is he even in the 80s or you know but you know the base i think the the uh premium version does have the base and i don't know if you know the story about the you know rocky's dog apparently he uh he pawned his dog so he can have the money so you know to sell his script to the directors or to the studios and after he this becomes a hit you know he kind of bought his dog back now this is from rocky 2 which is kind of weird I, I don't remember the film now i do have the set but i just don't remember it uh on the bottom it says rocky and then on the top rocky too. why can't you put rocky 2 but yeah the deluxe version i mean this has okay so feature wise this is kind of cool because you could you know have him in a hat and then interchangeable hair so i guess you can remove the hair i'm, I'm guessing it's via magnet and that is where you access again i'm guessing here because they don't have any pictures so i'm guessing once you remove the hair that would have you an access to the uh you know movable eyes which is we on hot toys we call them purse or surs like a single eye rolling system i don't really understand why it's single you know we gotta move them at pairs but nonetheless i'm guessing that's how it works so i i like that feature you know, like, so you can display him in this, you know, with a hat or hair. Although I don't see that they even, you know, showcased him with just the hair. Now, if this is what we're going to get, I'm totally fine with it. You know, man, Stallone has, I know he has his own shop now because I know he, uh, he kind of released one from Rambo 1, you know, that nomad look when he was just, you know, walking around and all that stuff. But there's one from 3-0 which I personally thought it was a better representation. Although they are, you know, they're basically different figures. But if you only have to choose one, uh, you know, I would choose the three zero one because it's more of a, it has this action figure feel to it. Now the base itself looks good. I do like this base. It's kind of dioramic. And then you got the dog. So if I'm going to get this, this is probably what I'm going for. Okay, there you go. They displayed him with the hair, just holding his hat. Uh, I think it looks good. Like, honestly, the face. Uh, and, and the funny thing is, if you see the special feature, it says movable eyes, interchangeable hair and hat, seamless silicone muscle body. So it has this, you know, kind of Fison body. But we never saw the body. Like, are they, can you remove the clothing? Like, if you do, what would he look like, though? I mean, I wish they would have included some clothes so he would become, you know, quote, unquote, Rocky. Because if not, what is the point of it having silicone body with no joints if you can't remove it? I mean, if you could, and that's part of the special feature, why not showcase it? Give us something, you know, that would, I mean, he don't get me wrong. I still like this look of Rocky, but I'm guessing most collectors would want a Rocky figure. By by that, I mean the boxer, you know, where he does have, 
you know, that's the problem. Because if you are going to create a, a boxer, he doesn't have a shirt. So all the joints are going to be exposed. And it's not a good look. Let's be honest. Uh, the, the worst, the best you could do is probably like what Storm Collectibles did for Mike Tyson. And the first one was a disaster because the rubber that they used on the elbow cracked. But that was a long time ago. You know, advancement in technology, you know, with, with figures and all that stuff. So now somebody was doing, um, I forgot the name, uh, Muhammad Ali. You know, that's that's pretty cool because it doesn't have any, you know, seams even on the shoulders. So, I mean, for this Rocky, I, I wouldn't mind if they go the Storm Collectibles route where you have joints on the shoulders as long as it's flushed. Uh, again, sort of like Storm Collectibles and the elbows are, you know, seamless. I'm cool with that. Or better yet, give him replaceable arms. But with here, in, in this particular figure, having a silicone muscle, muscle body, I, I mean, I guess they didn't specify which, maybe it's just the torso. It might not have been, you know, the, the elbows. But it seems kind of pointless if he doesn't have any boxing gear. Because even if you can, even if the body's beautiful, right? Like he doesn't have the boxing shorts or shoes. You know, you can't have him representing like the boxer, uh, Rocky. So uh, unless they're going to sell that separately, but that's, I don't know if that's going to work out company-wise. Of course, I would like to, you know, sell a different figure altogether for that. But what is the point of having that body if you can't show it off? I mean, I don't know. But looking at this as, at face value, I, I, I'm i okay with it. You know, I am like having this. But if that means it would have been cheaper if they used just a regular body, then I was all for that. Like, Because this is a bit expensive, honestly, you know, for the price that they're asking for. Although I'm a big Rocky fan, and I, I don't have any proper Rocky yet. But I can just imagine that they are going to come out with a Rocky in a boxing gear. I mean, they just have to. So I might wait for that and, and, and see how it goes and then go on from that. But yeah, let me know in the comments how you feel about this. But I sure can tell you right now, I like the, the 80s vibe, like the love that they're showing for Stallone right now because we just have Rambo and now Rocky. So I'm, I'm happy with all these announcements, even though it's not Hot Toys or, you know, the big guns. The fact that they're here, I'm I'm totally happy with that. But let me know in the comments, are you going to buy this figure? Are you in for it? Are you looking forward to more 80s action hero figures? Let me know in the comments. Again, thank you for watching. Like this video if you, you know, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.